Be differently abled differently. Lazarus Omusula is an ICT instructor at the Kenya Institute for the Blind. Take a look. Lazarus Omusula shared his story and how he ended up at the Kenya Institute for the Blind. We do uh, take care of uh, a rehabilitation process for persons who have recently lost sight. Uh, we also produce material in accessible format for persons who cannot uh, see. Uh, and um, I am blind, having lost sight. Uh, I was born sighted. And I work here uh, specifically in the technology world. I am uh, an ICT trained person, and so I offer those services to the institution. Over a decade ago, Lazarus gradually started losing the ability to see due to a condition that he would later learn was genetic. And the news came after he had been struggling with his vision to the point of being knocked down by a vehicle. I did lose my sight when I was in my uh, 30s. Uh, that was around 2007-2008. Uh, uh, several years back, uh, having uh, developed complications as uh, a result of what I thought was just low vision. I, I used to have um, conditions like whenever uh, it like rains through the day and the light is not very clear, uh, I would go actually stepping in patches of water you know the the time sighted people will uh, will easily manip maneuver and they can see pools of water and the dry ground i had a lot of problems with that then at dawn at dusk that, that was giving me such a headache i needed to keep following people at night complications so i didn't know then that that was low vision so i struggled with that and uh, of course, started going for medical attention here and there. The doctor's diagnosis confirmed that it was just a matter of time before he would lose his sight permanently. News that was not easy to process, and it even took longer to accept reality. Counseling, however, made things easier as he journeyed on. Most of us human beings, uh, you start saying, why me? Why when I'm just starting to settle in life, I have a career, I've gone to school, I need to, 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 to earn, to fend for my future. So all those questions did linger into my mind. Uh, so how I process that is, of course, uh, like I said, I tried looking for other people who I could even get to help me. And then it was very scanty because for me, how I came to actually process it well is when I came to Kenya Institute for the Blind. And, and even how I came here, you know, it's also another just interesting story. Because I was walking all over the place, just trying to find out who can understand me or ruled who understands where I am. Uh, so part of the question, the processing and, and, and even the coming of uh, into terms with it, 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 it was a process. And it took me maybe, I would say, three, four years to actually come to terms with the fact that now I had to accept I'm, I am without sight. And I had to accept even, even carrying this white can itself is already a shock to, it was a shock to me. The family members were supportive and helped where possible, which helped him a lot in healing and moving on. They re really didn't verbalize much, but I could read from their, their attitude. They were really heartbroken. Uh, I could read from my now late mom. I used to go to the village because I grew up in the village. So I used to go visit her and the, I'm settled in Nairobi. So I used to visit her and sometimes you know, she's, she, she's holding her, herself and wondering, 
my son, why don't you come back and we, we stay with you at home? What will happen? Possibly your cars will hit you in the, in the town or something. But, but I, you know, I was like, no, mom, if I, if I come to stay with you here in the village, there isn't much. So I could see they were really worried for me. But of course, they, they didn't have much information on what to do uh, with my condition. As a qualified computer technician, Lazarus was easily absorbed at the Kenya Institute for the Blind in the same field as the institution was looking to fill in some vacancies. Most persons who are visually impaired, they, they really struggle with mathematics as a unit. And not because they, they, they have a problem or we have a problem understanding mathematics, but the methodology, the, the way we, we handle the whole unit is such a challenge. Because uh, a person who is sighted, your log, your log table, if I may just mention something, for those who understand what's a log table, it's a small booklet like this. But you go to a, a visually impaired uh, class, a log book is, is a whole huge volume. It's a huge thing, almost like a Bible. So to reference something like the log of a certain number, it will take a person who is visually impaired a long, a much longer time than a sighted colleague. So those are some of the challenges that the society needs to be made aware about that then, because sometimes we train people here, we train professionals here to, to be skilled, but then they go to the society, the society has impediments, things that are blockading our access to information or access to things. So the larger society needs to be informed so that we are joining hands to create a society that is all inclusive. Lazarus decided to tell his then girlfriend and now wife about his condition. Time I was uh, settling into visual impairment, they, they almost corresponded with my dating and settling down with the, my girlfriend and then fiancé, then wife, now Lois. One thing that I needed to really also make clear with to her was I had a challenge. Uh, because this is also very important. When you are self-aware, commun that communication was very important for me. So I did share with her that I have a challenge and uh, I thank God she, she has been very supportive. Uh, of course, uh, families will always sometime, even if they are supportive, sometimes we read the body language. Her people, sometimes her people, a bit jittery here and there, but uh, she has uh, hung in there, we have hung in there, learning a lot through this journey. As much as family is a blessing, a few challenges arose from both sides, but nothing that they haven't been able to handle. We are warm, we relate well. Of course the children will look and wonder how, is our da how come our dad is this way and not that way. But, you know, when my daughter, my, our firstborn is a daughter, when she was young and we needed to go out, she knew she would come, reach out for the white cane and bring it to me, and she would hold my hand, and uh, uh, she, she knew that was, that's how I survived. And as they keep growing, sometimes I keep checking on them because it's also very important to mentally check on them. Sometimes you'll, you'll see them feeling a bit... Uh, Law, wondering how come our dad cannot see, but we, we support each other and uh, we thank God uh, we relate well. That, that's what I would say. Lazarus started raising awareness about his condition and has been doing it, hoping to change things for the better as he encourages the general public to make an effort of being helpful whenever they are called upon. And, and the awareness creation I do, I like just to you know, forums, because I, I wish even uh, people could uh, have just time to understand, to ca even visit Kenya Institute for the Blind, organize for time just to interact with us, so that we, we are not, we won't 
upofu. You know, somebody thinks if they come to shake my hand, I will infect them with blindness. Uh, we are just regular human beings, and so therefore, uh, if we could make time together just to, to, to understand the space, uh, it is very important. We realize sometimes we do a, a major disservice one to another without knowing. And, and sometimes I, I also blame us, the, those of us with disability. It is also important for us to voice. Because sometimes if I don't tell you how to help me, how will you know how to help me? And sometimes the help I need is not about handout giving me 20 bob and one bob and whatever. No, no, no. Sometimes I'm just in need of, I'm in town. There are times I go in town and I'm just, it's me with my God. And I need you just to help me cross the road. And sometimes just see for me because I'm like, I need this building. I need the entrance. So just come and, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, say hi, ask me, gentlemen, may I be of help? Where do you want to go? I mean, you pick up a conversation because let's, let's just uh, be realistic. Counseling is used by many people across the continent. Secondary disability is one of the many reasons for one to undergo counseling as it is extremely crucial that one gets this service to cope. So counseling is very crucial and it's part of what we offer here at Kenya Institute for the Blind, because we realize uh, when a person loses a sense, it is not just the physical, it actually is a mental interference. It's like, uh, if I use myself, it's like I buried my sight. Because sometimes I say, I think I, I feel like I experienced my own funeral and then I'm living again. Because it's that, it's that devastating. So counseling normally helps to tone down those hypes, you know, the bile that sometimes you feel, meet people in the streets. Who sometimes you step on them if they are with a disability and that person can even hit you with a crutch. Because they've not been counseled. Because when, when a person is counseled, we, the, 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 the mental outbursts are toned down. We, ha we are helped, a person is helped to see and understand. Lazarus benefited immensely from the Kenya Institute for the Blind and encourages those who have lost sight to join as this is a sure way of changing their lives for the better. KIB has been very helpful to me. Uh, it has helped me to f uh, firstly bounce back into life because rehabilitation is not just about people who've done drugs and it's not about people who have messed themselves. When a person loses a sense, rehabilitation is like you bounce back, you rediscover my abilities in the space I am. So KIB has helped me to discover myself. KIB to the larger audience is a place where you come when you've lost sight you get rehabilitated, even going back. And, and we don't just deal with the client alone. We also deal with the immediate family, the support system around that person. So because we realize sometimes we used to deal with the person alone. We help the person up to somewhere. When he goes back to the environment, they relapse, they go back. So KIB, we now do what we call psychosocial support of the immediate family of that person. So KIB is very useful in that regard. KIB as well supplies assistive devices. Uh, you is watching, possibly if you looked at me, you will not know that I cannot see until you will see the white cane. So these white canes are not sold everywhere. So KIB will supply these assistive devices. KIB will also be, it, it has, it's an information hub for even institutions who need to do uh, accessibility issues. Let's catch a breather, but we'll be right back with more. Don't go too far. We're differently abled, differently.